Third is the optimum cycle time and the symbol is C0 which the C0 can be determined by using this formula. C0, the optimum cycle time, equal to 1.5L, the capital L, plus 5 over 1 minus Y, the capital Y. And the unit for the optimum cycle time is second. So here we have two new parameter, capital L and capital Y. So what does it mean by the capital L? The capital L here is total loss time per cycle in second. So what is the total loss time in one cycle in unit second? So L equal to the summation of I minus A. If you still remember, I is integrin period in second, while the A is amber period in second. Recall, please recall. Integrin, integrin equal to amber plus R. Because during the integrin period, it consists of two parameters, the amber and all rate period. So, when I minus A, this is actually the all rate period, capital R. So, you can substitute I minus A with the R. Right. Plus, summation of L. This is the small L. While this is capital L. So, what is the small L? The small L here is the lost time due to starting delay. And usually, we take 2 seconds. If you still remember, there are two types of delay, late start and early stop. But in determining the cycle time, we only consider the starting delay and we neglect the early stop. So basically, the loss time here, the total loss time here is actually the time where vehicle stop. Or vehicle loss time. Okay, this is during all rate period or vehicle stop, so no movement. Same goes to this L, little L. This is where the vehicle start delay. So it is cause delay to the rest of the vehicle in the queue. So this is how we determine the total loss time per cycle in second. So just Multiply by 1.5 plus 5 over 1 minus capital Y to get the optimum cycle time. So what is this Y? This Y is equal to summation of little y. Oh my god, what is the little y? So the little y here is demand over saturation flow ratio. So it is Q1 or I over SI, let's say 1. So I here indicates phase. Let's say at the junction, it has two phases. So um, you're going to have two little y, y1 and y2, which y1 equal to Q1 over S1 and y2 equal to Q2 over S2. So, what is the Q and what is the S? Q is the demand. The demand is actually the total number of traffic for that particular approach. And the S, S is the saturation flow, which you determine using the formula or refer to the table for each particular approach, each particular leg. So, that is how to get the cycle time. And bear in mind, in one cycle time, minimum number of phases is 2. That is why we use summation here. Because it has more than one number of phase. Okay?